At Senin Station in central Jakarta, tens of thousands of people are preparing to travel to their hometowns ahead of the Eid al-Fitr holiday. For me, homecoming means gathering with family, especially seeing parents. We are so happy to go home, to gather with relatives we don't get to meet often. The annual journey at the end of Ramadan is a tradition in Indonesia. Millions leave major cities to spend the holiday with their families. Many are making the most of free buses provided by the government, aimed at reducing congestion on the roads. For the last few years, the number of people using motorbikes has decreased and accidents have declined too, so this free homecoming is very effective. Millions of Indonesians are migrant workers who come from all over the country to work in the capital and other big cities. Authorities say this could be the biggest pre-Eid travel season on record, with more than 194 million people expected to be on the move. That's an increase of more than 70 million compared to last year. The Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry projects an economic boost of more than $9 billion, estimating the average family spends at least $200, not only on transport expenses, but also on clothes, food and beverages and more. At Tana Abang, which hosts the largest textiles market in Southeast Asia, thousands are shopping for presents. For daily expenditure, personally, I only buy things that I need. But I came here to buy clothes for aid for my mother, my sister and myself. Economists say the travel boom is a good sign for the economy, an indication of growing consumer confidence. They point to several factors, such as an increase in the average wage and better transport infrastructure as reasons more people are taking trips this year. On average, there is an increase on the people to move from informal sector of the economy to the formal sector economy. That's actual, that, that actually creates the, uh, the rights for them to, to get the uh, religious holiday as, um, uh, allowance. Uh, for around about one month uh, uh, salary, so they have the purchasing power. It's a week of big spending for millions of Indonesians, a price they say they're happy to pay for a chance to spend a week at home with their loved ones. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.